hello again. In this presentation, we'll have a look at some of the toolbars included for use in MS Outlook for emails and MS Office for Word, PowerPoint and Excel. These toolbars are found both within the application pack for the Sistran Enterprise Server 8 or SES 8 and also as part of the desktop edition Sistran Translator 8. As mentioned in another video, the product includes toolbars or plugins. This adds translation capabilities to several popular programs found in Microsoft Outlook and Office. Let us start with Microsoft Word. We already know that we can translate a Word file, an RTF file, and a few others, including ODT, the Open Document Text Format, simply by using right-click for a context menu and selecting Sistran Translate. But what if you already opened the document in Word? Many of these file formats and several more can in fact be opened in Word. Of course, even when you use Word, you could still use the keyboard shortcuts that we saw earlier to translate a selection. Simply highlight some text and use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl Shift T. A pop-up window will show the translation, and you can copy-paste it back into the original Word document. In fact, you can use this with many other programs, not only the few for which we do have a toolbar. This technique does not use the toolbar. For example, you can use it with OneNote, which is part of the Microsoft Office, although we don't have a toolbar for OneNote here. But with MS Word, you will also notice the presence of a new option in the toolbars area, Sistran. This is a toolbar for easier automated translations and for dictionary lookups. Click the Sistran toolbar access tab in order to see a number of options that will be very useful when translating parts of the documents, such as words, sentences or chapters, or even the entire document. On the left side there is a text entry box. You can enter the words there. Single word terms, multi-word terms and even full sentences. You can either type them in manually or use copy-paste. If you enter just one or a few words you might want to use it for dictionary lookup. It will show you several possible ways to translate that word. This is known as a list of alternate meanings and also known as performing a dictionary lookup. You can also do this from the current selection. You can then go further and click some of these related terms to find even more useful terms that are also related. Or you can just click the translate button. It will show you the translation in a pop-up window. From there you can select what you want and copy it, then paste it into the same or another document. There are also shortcuts to do all this in a more convenient way and perhaps you'll find them to be more efficient. Click the small triangle below the translate button where you'll find more options for translating the current selection or the whole document. You can translate the selection and keep it to itself simply to show it in a temporary pop-up window. In this case no change is applied to the original document. Or you can click and choose the option to insert the resulting translation right after the current selection. This is very convenient, especially when you temporarily need both versions of the sentence, the original phrase and its translated version, at the same time in the same place. Perhaps your workflow will dictate that another person who speaks both languages should review it and remove the original at a later time. Likewise, you can also translate and replace the current selection, just like this. It's that easy. And then you can also translate the entire document. In this case, a new document is created, containing just the translation. You may want to change its protection status to edit and make further changes to it, because initially it may be presented to you in read-only mode. As expected, the toolbar also lets you choose different source and target languages. And finally, it also lets you pick a preferred profile, if more than one is available. 
don't forget to select this profile before you translate with it, especially if the document is from a special project with special terminology needed with your own user dictionaries. Now that we have seen this in Word, let's have a look at the others. For PowerPoint it's pretty much the same thing. You can select text and translate it from the text box in the left of the toolbar. This can be useful when you're translating a presentation sentence by sentence, page by page. You can look up alternate meanings too. Imagine that you are gradually translating the comments section of a presentation going through it page by page and you wonder if a better word could be used for a given term, for example based on the context. With the Sistran toolbar for PowerPoint, you can quickly translate the whole presentation. It will create and open the result in a new presentation, ready for you to do your post-editing and final touch-ups, if any. You can use the Translate and Replace function on the entire content of a text box, such as this title. You can still also use the keyboard shortcut, of course, if you find it more convenient, for instance, to insert or append the translation at a precise location. Or you can select an entire text box to translate and replace it, and then do your post-editing and extra changes, new formatting, etc. A third toolbar we have included is for use within Microsoft Excel. Perhaps you open a file in the native new.xlsx format, or the older .xls format. It also works with CSV files, comma separated values. You may also open a spreadsheet that was in other formats, such as ODS, or Open Document Spreadsheet. As long as Excel can open it, you'll be able to use the tools from the toolbar for translation. Here is an example. If you are a software developer, such as a game developer, or perhaps the programmer of a graphics suite, you may want to translate the menus and dialogues of the software. These are known as software strings. You can place the original English software strings into one column, then select and paste them also into a second column, which will soon turn into the translated output. Simply select the desired cells or the entire column, then use translate and replace. Very quickly you will have the software strings in other languages. So there are many ways to use the shortcuts and the toolbars. One more toolbar that is included will appear in MS Outlook to help when translating your emails. Let's say you received an email and it is in a foreign language and on top of that you are not sure which language it is. Is it spam? Is it a legitimate business contact? Some scripts are the same or similar. Is it Chinese or Japanese? Some languages look the same. Is it Danish or Norwegian? Arabic or Farsi? You can use the toolbar from Sistran and leave the source language undefined, asking for Automatic Language Identification, or LID. The language identification can be very useful when you don't know exactly which language it is. Some languages, like Portuguese, Spanish, and Italian or French, can look very similar. Just use the toolbar to translate the document and immediately get the gist of the message. Okay, so that was for when you have received an email. When you are writing the email, for example in English, and you know that the recipient is fluent in Spanish, whereas English is their second language, then you can also use the toolbar to translate parts of the document or the entire email that you have just written before sending it. Once again, you can of course just use the keyboard shortcuts if you don't want to translate that entire message. Simply make the selection by highlighting the desired portion of the text and hit your keyboard shortcut, such as Ctrl Shift T to translate, or copy and paste it into the magic bar for quick translation and also for terminology lookup. 
plus you can use the other option in the toolbar to translate that same selection. It will appear in the same pop-up window. The original document will still be there in your new email, but it will also be followed by the translated version. You can leave it there that way. Perhaps you'll prefer to switch the order. Perhaps have the translated version first, followed by the English original. The possibilities are endless, they are fast and elegant, and you will easily find a great way to make this fit into your workflow.